Hello everybody, my name is Peter, and today I'm going to be covering an all new series on YouTube. It's called Talantical Canada. It's about me paying tributes to all the talented voiceover and puppeteering people, old and new. Unless you're a fan or been a fan of Canadian talent. Today, I would like to be showcasing the performances of Gord Robertson. Gordon is, well, best known for playing Zabumafu from the hit PBS Kids show of the same name, Galileo from Groundling Marsh, and Bill the Ventriloquist Dummy from Puppet to Kill. As well as puppeteering in numerous live-action well-known productions like Cats and Dogs, The Muppets Wizard of Oz, Fraggle Rock, and the sci-fi horror series Chucky. If you're out there who's been a fan of Canadian talent, that's great! So here's my tribute to Gord Robertson. Enjoy. Oh, we can't do that, Large Marvin. Jock and Jock S's need your gazelle like athletic prowess. Oh, there's Gobo's room. Let's see if he's there. Hello? Anybody home? Oh, he's not here. Maybe he's already at the picnic. Huh, she speaks to Fraggles as if they were friends. She's revealing our construction plans to a Fraggle. Look caught up in style. She doesn't even deserve to be apprentice architect. Well, I do. But now I got her on a clear violation. <laughs> oh, I get it. Now we're on. Okay, uh, that wide enough? Did you call for maintenance? Oh, hey, Kermit. The Muppets are in production today, huh? Oh, yeah. The Model 14s always do that. Mm -hmm. It just takes a tiny adjustment. Sure, this guy knows repair. Oh, okay, we'll take care of him in a minute. Here goes. Oh, tail looks great, boss. Oh, oh, what was that for, boss? <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Oh, uh, Mud and Slinger. You should have seen them jumping and scratching. Ow! Yip, 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 yip. <laughs> a new dance? <laughs> oh, Mud invented a powder it's supposed to make your fur straight, but instead, it makes you itchy. <laughs> yeah, I told Mud and Slinger that I'd give the powder to Echo. Uh-huh. Well, sure. Uh, everybody needs a laugh. That's ridiculous. Land Chop is going to play the wolf? Oh, I'll be honest with you, I never liked actors. All they do is worry. Was I good? Was I bad? Do they love me? Do they hate me? Is this my good side? Is this my not-so-good side? If it wasn't for actors, every TV show, every movie would be made by Walt Disney, and at this very minute, we would all be cartoons. Let me ask you a question. Why, Why does Lamb Chop want to play the wolf? Wouldn't that make her a sheep in wolf's clothing? <laughs> yeah. Ow! Oh! Oh! Wow! How do porcupines hug on each other when they're so prickly? With a lot of ouches, I guess. Hey, no, no, that's my arm! <laughs> Martin, you made her quill stand up. They look sharp. She's prickly, but I'm soft. You can tell a porcupine anywhere just by looking at her quills. Whoa, but you shouldn't touch. Don't sneeze, Martin. You might surprise her. And then her quills might stand up. I wonder what she's sniffing for. <laughs> she walks with a waddle. Pretty good plan, except for one thing. This gun I found in the glove box. I'll get you out of this, Rocco. 80%. What? Of the candy bar. This time, I get 80%. <laughs> it's the little things, Rocco. Now, in the trunk. All right, he's in the trunk. We got the key. Let's go get the money. Wait a second. Where's his gun? Well, no matter. He's in the trunk. He's not going anywhere. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this episode, if you want to see more like this video, Click the like button and comment down on the section below and let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to Talantical Canada.